Uh, that was Halloween 5. The Revenge of Michael Myers? No. Revenge of Michael Myers. Yes. Wow. It happened? Uh, yeah, I it's, it's interesting. For what I'm pretty sure is the longest installment in the franchise, it sure had the least going on. Mm-hmm. I think it went 45 minutes without a kill. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's fine if they're doing something interesting, but... They're not. We're five movies in. They're not doing anything interesting. There is no fifth installment of a series that is better than the first. Wait a second. No. Never mind. Star Wars Episode Five. Yeah, I was going to make that joke. (laughs) The Hobbit Desolation of Smaug. (laughs) Uh, I mean, I think that they've got this... The, the most that I could tell, it was it was in and out for me. I, I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention. Yeah, no, not much was going on. Um, I think that they were trying to make it to where, like, Michael was fighting between being a human and being a monster or something. But we've already kind of established that he's pure evil. 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 As a... It was Mr. Uh, uh, I don't remember his name. Donald Pleasant. Does, what does he even do? I'm, I'm like 90% sure at this point in the franchise, he's lost his job as a doctor and is just like wandering around following these, this like group of people and it's just like anytime he's something evil. bad happens, Michael Myers is coming back. Oh no. How much you want to bet Donald Pleasant's actually lost his job and just wandered on set one day? <laughs> just like, you guys film in a Halloween 5? What? Cool! No! Evil! <laughs> Donald Pleasant's god damn it. Um, so in this movie, Michael Myers almost doesn't kill most people, but he still kills them. Well, they keep... They kept... Faking out, although in the end, most of the ones they fake out killed mm-hmm. died anyway. Yeah. Got us! I mean, it just, it wasn't scary, it was really boring. So, uh... I feel like the, they're still trying at this point in the series, which is kind of sad. I mean, I, I would have hoped by the fifth installment they would have figured out just not to try. It is, I do think it's a little better than 4, just because there are a few moments that I went, okay, that was, like, unintentionally funny, mm-hmm. mostly right at the beginning. Uh, not enough to warrant actually watching the movie. Uh, yeah. So, the little girl, who, like, murdered her stepmother at the end of the last one, they kind of suggest that that was a dream... But kind of? never just come out and say it was a dream? I think it was real. Just because we never see the person that she killed in, in this movie. Yeah. And they say, like, they... But... <laughs> and Jason wants to... Or, uh, Michael wants to kill her. Yeah. And she has, like, psychic visions about... Who Michael's gonna kill for some reason doesn't play into the plot at all. Like, yeah, you'd expect to drop that, and the movie wouldn't have been all that much different. At least in The Shining, that played into the plot, but that was a subversion of expectation. In this movie, they just don't do anything with it. She's like, oh, my head hurts, and she starts having seizures. And then it's like, oh, I'm all better now. And nobody like, got harmed. Oh, it happens three times. T- t- Tina's gonna die. And then they send an entire squad of police cars on the word of this psychic girl. And Tina is... I mean, it's fine. <laughs> Your name appears in the opening credits in quotes. No other character does. No. Um... Okay, so you would think yeah. they would try padding this out with more gratuitous moments, 
Like, have no. way more, ki- like, a much higher body count, much more graphic body count, and have some friggin' nudity. This is Halloween. There was nudity in the first scene of the first movie. I feel like None this of could have actually more. passed for PG-13 back in the day. Like, there wasn't... There was some blood, yeah, but this it almost could have... could. In 89? Yeah. This was before the days of PG-13 being the middle road. You could get away with a lot of stuff in PG-13. This, I feel like this could have passed for that. I don't even think that they drop like an F-bomb or... They don't curse in this movie. Not really. Um, so the Michael Myers masks looks different, again, a little oh, yeah. better than last time, except, except for the f- eye holes are painted on, <laughs> Yeah, which we didn't notice till like, near the end of the movie, where he finally, like, light hits his mask the right way, that it's like, his eye holes are painted on. Which, I guess that makes sense, because he's, he's supposed to be blind. He's blind? But now he has daredevil senses? Yeah, I was going to say. He got shot twice in the eyes, and yet he doesn't seem to be impeded by it because he's evil. He was impeded by it at the end of Halloween 2 when it was convenient. I guess he regrew his eyes? Or did they just forget that they shot him in the eyes? (laughs) I think they forgot the end of Halloween 2 happened. They're like, what happened in Halloween 2? They got burned? Sure. There's a little scar. Here's a little silly putty. Here's a little silly putty for your face. It did look better in this movie, but it was just like that tiny bit of his face, and it's like, uh, no, his whole body would be burned. Yeah. He'd be Deadpool. (laughs) Yeah. It's bad. It's bad. Not as bad as the last one, but. I mean. Bad. The worst thing that any of these, any movie could be in general is boring. This movie is boring. Don't watch. No, I don't recommend it. We're gonna pad this out for two more minutes so we can get to four twenty. <laughs> no. You wanna just sit here in silence? Oh, we sh- we could talk about the mysterious man who's in like two scenes of the movie going like. Mm, I'm watching this, and then at the end, comes into the police station, shoots the station up, and frees Michael. And Who leaves. was he? And he just leaves. He just leaves. He just shows up, shoots the place up, and then leaves. My theory is it's Jamie Lee Curtis's character from the first movie. Maybe they explained it in the next movie, or maybe they just forget about it entirely. <laughs> My bet is on the ladder. Yeah, more than likely they'll just totally ignore it and we'll never know who the mysterious man is. But if they bring it up again... He totally looks like The Exorcist from the beginning of the movie. Yeah, the beginning of The Exorcist. I compared him to uh, the guy from the Goosebumps intro. Yeah. Because he carries, like, the briefcase. Mm Mm-hmm. And then any moment, he doesn't spill any spooky letters anywhere. It's gonna like stop and it drops open and like all the papers fly out. Oops, I littered. Except he had a gun in that case, I suppose. Since he shot a bunch of policemen. <laughs> we made it to 420. Okay. Happy 420. Yeah. Plays it. Caesars don't fear the reaper, nor do the wind, the sun, or the rain. 